Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to combine like terms or add and subtract them. Now, what are like terms? Here is an example of some terms that are alike. These are the original terms that we've been using since we were little, right? These are all rational numbers, as we say. Um, there's whole numbers and decimals and fractions and negatives, and um, we can add them all together, subtract them and everything. And they're, they're a, one particular type of term. The next type right here that you might be familiar with, what do these all have in common? Well, this is the X term, okay? And we can combine all of these. And um, we can add 4X and 1X. Always remember there's a 1 in front of the X if there isn't a number there. And we can combine them together because they're all the same term. Now, when I teach my students how to combine like terms, I I always give this example. Imagine somebody took a bowl of fruit and spilled it on your table, and you had to tell them what they had there, what kind of fruit we got there, how much. And so you wouldn't just add them all up and say, I've got 18 fruits. What you would do is you would combine the apples together and the oranges together and the bananas together. You'd add them up, each one of them, and you'd tell the person what you got. I've got four bananas and eight apples and six oranges. And that's kind of the idea of what combining like terms are. You have to make sure that you're only combining the terms that are alike. So let's take a look at different types of terms. So all of these terms on the screen are all different types. We cannot combine any of them. They are all different and stand alone. Now, how do we determine whether it's a it's a like term or not? Well, we always look at the variable and its exponent. Okay, so right there, that x to the third or x cubed is a certain type of term. And there's five of them, five x cubes. And then up here, we've got nine x. x is a standalone term. We have nine of them. And then down here, we have five x squared. x squared is a uh, type of term, and it can't combine with either of the other two that we just talked about. Then we have other letters as variables, and they're all different. We can use any of the letters. And then we have this one in the corner here, the xy. Um, if they're combined together by multiplication, they become their own separate term. And then finally, the original one. Uh, there is no variable here, and so anything that does not have a variable, you can combine together. Okay, let's try a few algebra problems. Let's take a look at this with all these x's and squares and numbers and everything. And what we're, our goal is, is to combine those that are alike. So we're going to identify the like terms. So the first one, I'm going to start with the x squareds first. So I locate these two, 5 and 3, right? 5 and 3 of them. So there are 8 x squared. Then I locate the x's next. And so 7 plus 8 is 15 x positive 15 x and then I have positive 9 and positive 2 and I add those together and I get plus 11 and there it is that's what we do now you might notice the underlining that I use uh, this is a method that I've um, used for quite a few years now and it's the most um, oh effective way I think one of the big reasons is because if you ever make a mistake and want to go back um, you can see exactly. Did I underline those correctly? Did I add the, the, the ones? You're not crossing anything out or circling it or putting squares around it. So I like this method. All right, how about this one? We have c's and c squareds and numbers. And so uh, the c squared and the 2c squared are like terms. And that's 1c squared plus 2c squared. And that makes 3c squared. And then we have a C all by himself, and so we just bring him down. Then we've got two whole numbers we got to have to combine, 4 and 12, which makes 16. And so there it is. We have combined all of the terms that we could. 
Now, sometimes you'll have negatives too. Hopefully you've learned to subtract and add negative integers and whatnot. Um, we have x squared here, 6 minus 2 x squared. And so we've got 4 x squared. Then we have the x's, 9, positive 9 and a negative 2x. That makes a positive 7x. And then we have that whole number by himself. And so we just bring him down right there. And we've got our simplified answer. Okay. Now let's look at some tricky ones. Some, some problems that always get thrown at you in these uh, tests and quizzes. And so I want to go over a couple with you. This is the first one. Um, what do you notice about this one? Well, they're all the same type of term. They're all s squareds. And so we just combine them together from left to right. 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 plus 6 is 11. And 11 minus 8 is 3 s squared. Okay, they do put this in quite a bit. How about this one? What do you notice about this one? Well, if you said that they were all different terms, you were correct, and we can't combine any of them together. So your final answer is exactly that. We can't combine anything together. Okay. Well, you just learned how to combine like terms. I hope it helped. If you uh, think you need a little bit more, you can go back and watch it again uh, to get a little better grasp of the concept. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.